So I'm in Professor Smith's lab in environmental engineering and I'm working with Yandra and Inalumi as my kind of mentors. We basically work for water reclamation. So right now there's kind of two huge problems in the world, both getting clean water and also finding clean renewable energy so we don't create climate change. Basically what we do is we get in a water kind of wastewater treatment plant, there's a process called anaerobic filtration in a membrane and basically what we want to do is add various things into that digester to see if we can get biogas. Long story short, we basically mix sewage with food waste in a form of very like fancy, basically fancy composting, and it gives us methane, clean water, and nitrates and phosphates, which we can use as kind of fertilizer for farms. So instead of it being a net negative to the atmosphere and actually taking energy to clean, we get energy back from the system. So my specific job is with the co-digestion of food waste and seed waste, which is like sludge and the anaerobic kind of sludge, which is black and quite scary and very bad smell. What I do is mix them together and see if I'm getting any antibiotic resistant bacteria, which is obviously a huge problem because it's very dangerous to humans, things like stuff that are uncurable, untreatable without with basic penicillin. So what I'm doing is I'm co-digesting the kind of mixture in a batch reactor in little bottles, and I'm monitoring the biogas, and I'm going I sequence the DNA and I'm using qPCR basically to see if there are any of those antibiotic resistant bacteria, because it could be a problem given that a lot of antibiotics is used in the meat industry and animal husbandry. Basically, I'm just going to see if that could be a potential problem. He works. I, he mostly does like reverse osmosis stuff. He works with desalination. This is a fume hood with various chemicals that I do not touch because they're probably dangerous. Uh, right here, this is more of the water. We have actually anaerobic. This is like a membrane kind of reactor type thing. This one is no longer working. This is Yamrot's old one. But this one, Charlie's, is functioning. It basically is like a small version of an anaerobic membrane bioreactor, so there's basically sludge going through it. This is the muffle furnace, which gets really, really hot and is kind of dangerous. It can be like 1,000 degrees Celsius, so I don't touch that. It's not all those are probably good. Over here is where Max is working. This is like mostly ozonation, water filtration. This is like, basically the water's getting dirtier right there. It's the purest kind of water. It's like reverse osmosis. Here is the water before chemical treatment, so it's been basically physically processed. Now it's going to be ozonated, which is like a new form of water filtration. This is mostly where I work in Smith's lab. We have a couple of machines. We have the centrifuge right there, the computer, there's some readers. Over there in the corner is where we do DNA extraction. So I work a lot with like, like, like sludge basically. So sludge, I read the DNA for various antibiotic resistant bacteria in that. So after we extract the DNA, there's all the kid stuff right here. Hazardous waste apparently, that's there too. This is all our trash can because it comply with the safety code. And here is my bioreactor. This is fun. So I basically have nine bottles of sludge going on. They're all different mixtures. I'm mixing sludge with food waste to basically see if I can get methane in the form of biogas. So the biogas, instead of it being emitted into the environment and causing like climate change, you could actually harness it as a form of renewable energy. So I'm basically co-digesting food waste and sludge, which is basically like sewage, to see if I can get more methane. So it's scientifically very important, but I'm glad it's in bottles because it does not smell great and the sludge is black, which is a little scary. This is where Simi works. Um, he mostly does like just use methane and water. I don't really remember that stuff. Yeah, we have a fridge. I'm not gonna open it. We have a freezer. It looks very scientific and I quite like it. And this is our fridge, which you should never touch because it is full of sludge. We have black sludge, we have seed sludge, we have food waste, we have I think septic water right there. So no food in there, do not touch that. We're back to our thing, but where we sometimes work with things like mercury. So again, use the humid for that. That's kind of our lab. So since this lab works a lot with environmental engineering, I would definitely say that there are a lot of social benefits kind of in the work that we do. So I specifically am working on a lot of like water reclamation and actually getting energy back from various waste streams. So things like food waste, sewage, um, fats, oils, and greases, which are a byproduct of a lot of meat packing. Basically, instead of being just in landfill and contributing to climate change, what we do is we take that energy and we harness it in the form of biogas. So it's actually a very renewable source of energy. We also get some clean water, nitrates and phosphates, which can be used in fertilizer, and actually makes the whole process, which wastewater treatment, which takes a lot of energy, makes it actually a net benefit. So I think our work is really important in helping climate change. I also really like working in it because I definitely think it's more of kind of like a dirtier field. It's wastewater, and it's something that we don't always talk about, but it obviously it's produced throughout the world. It's something we need to address. So I think this lab's doing a lot of positive work to make something that's currently pretty bad for the environment more of a positive source.